All right, bro. I don't have like an actual like or like an audio recorder. I wonder if I could record in Studio One, but like without anything plugged up. I don't know how to go. I guess we'll have to find out. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let me just go ahead and download a damn something because I ain't about to fuck with my settings. I think he was right. I think this is muted. Yep. And this is on. Why is it Why echoing? Is it echoing? That light's so bright, son. I should've just got your computer, huh? What is this thing talking about purchasing stuff? It said free audio stuff. Don't tell me something free and then tell me to purchase something, you know? This is definitely by Magix. I'm all right, I already use y'all video editing software and, and I'm ready to go if I'm being honest. I'm just go ahead and get Audacity. I know Audacity works. I don't, you know, it'll do the job. And then I could I could take that audio and put it in the real doll, go from there. Boom. Six minutes, two seconds, no seconds, done. You know what I mean? What was so hard about that? I gotta sync all this up. They ain't been recording the whole time. Mm. What's it, the five minute week? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What song is that? Chicken head. Chicken, chicken. Chicken head. Boy, please, whatever. I feel like that's weird though. What? Just because, like, that's just weird. That's just so weird. I would just hate that visually, like with a passion. Yeah. Okay, so this point is the link up. Whatever, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Anyway, what are we talking about? We got a big day tomorrow. Big day tomorrow, yeah. Huge day. Huger than huge. Life-changing. Life yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I was to <laughs> Life-changing. Um, yeah, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning is the is the morning that we uh, technically start the process. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, getting... Um, Induced. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I wasn't like... I was like, I don't know if you can say that. I don't know why you think that's a bad thing. You want labor to happen naturally. Yeah. You want it to happen naturally. But we don't we don't necessarily know when labor is supposed to start and we don't want my condition to worsen right but why is it that like most females for some reason tend to know what hypertension is without like thinking about it? it's like you say hypertension and they're just like oh okay i get it like i don't think it's most females i think that's just people in general people know what hypertension is i've never heard of it before oh okay well it's blood it's got to do with your blood pressure okay so it's just, i mean it sounds like it's just stress is really what it is mm -hmm. To it a can degree. be stress. It can be your diet. It can, yeah, to a certain degree, it can be a, a, a different, a few factors. But in this case, it's gestational hypertension. So technically, it's just because I'm pregnant. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I mean, it just, but it's like I think it's just the word. You mm -hmm. know, like the word sounds bad. Yeah. You know, but yeah. it's like it when you talk about it though, it sounds like something normal. But when you think of the word just what? But I think <laughs> gestational hypertension. Like it's just like, ugh, what's that? Like I, But I think it's I think it's like when you hear about risk and pregnancy. Yeah. That's one of them. So you got preeclampsia, you got gestational diabetes, and then hypertension goes with preeclampsia. Okay. So pretty much what it is is I am I have hypertension. I have technically I have pre-hypertension because my blood pressure is not that high. Yeah. Like it's high, but it it hasn't ever reached 150. Right. Um. So it's better to do it now. Get ahead of it. Get ahead of it because if I wait, there's a chance that I could eventually get preeclampsia. Yeah. And that's really not good. This is right now is just a preventative measure at this point. I've never heard of the other ones. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna sit here and I'm not gonna sit here and act like I have, but you know. Well, gestational diabetes is diabetes while you're pregnant. Remember when I had to take those those tests. shots, um, all those shots. Remember when we sat at the hospital and I had to stay there for like what three four hours, and I had to take a sh I had to get my blood drawn every hour. Okay, yeah. That was a test for gestational diabetes. Okay, that was the day you lost in GoFish. Yeah. I declare war. 
I think I lost an ID clear one. Oh. Yeah, you lost at Goldfish. So that's why I am being induced. Yeah, because the original date was September 10th. And instead, she's being induced on August 20th. So, you know, a little bit of time ahead. Three weeks. She's three weeks ahead. I'll be 37 weeks tomorrow, exactly. She's full term. That's real. She's just impatient. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, honestly, I think if I wasn't getting induced, she would still come early. Yeah. If not this week, then definitely next week. Yeah. Just because of everything I'm feeling right now. I've been dilated since 34 weeks yeah and right now you're already at you said like 80 percent or something like that i've been like that since 34 weeks so i haven't i didn't get checked today i'll get checked tomorrow but yeah i was three centimeters dilated 80 percent effaced which means my cervix is thinned out or softened 80 percent she's at a zero which means she is aligned and just ready to come out which is good. Which I guess. is good. Not I guess. I know it's good, but I just I know in movies like they be like the baby's turn. We gotta turn the head where the feet are and like she's it's in perfect position. Yeah. She is. You could have stopped that perfect. You know she's perfect or something like that. That would have been that'd have been good. The way her head is is that it's her face is facing my back instead of her face facing frontward. So like oh like this she's part, she's like this yes this okay so this is, part is like is this, where your is stomach where is my, no this part is where my where she's coming out yeah like she's the like tip that. of her head is perfect yeah she's like yeah. okay I'm with you now yeah, yeah I, I don't know why that, that took me so long to figure <laughs> out I was like <laughs> I was like what's the math on that this hard part that I feel up here that be her feet no hello this is her backside like when it be pressing up that's uh, her backside her feet yeah. Her feet be either, depending on which way she twisted. Yeah, because I'll be messing with her and then she'll move over because yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, her feet is up here because they be kicking me in yeah. my ribs. Flutters down there because that's her hands. Mm. Yeah, They're not as strong as these kicks up here. <laughs> so hopefully this is easy breezy, as easy as it can be. People unprofessional. They don't turn their phones off. They sit down. They ready. They just disruptive. Well, I'm you know? not expecting this a text crazy. message or a phone this call. Is, this at is cra- damn near midnight. What did you say? What you say they doing for you right now when it come to the baby? Preventative, preventative maintenance. Yeah, pretty much. Measures. You know, yeah, preventative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I about to say she didn't say preventative maintenance. Either way, you doing? They did preventative stuff. You supposed to do preventative things. When you setting up to do something unprofessional. I just wasn't expecting my phone to go off. Whatever. You know what it's gonna say. Mm-mm. Unprofessional. <laughs> was it good? Yeah, it was really good. I kinda want some water. I'll be back. You just gotta be like me. I do. This was a preventative measure that you could have taken before we even started. It's also a preventative measure that you could have did for me before we started. But hey, you know, who am I to have you look out for me? Did that go the way you thought it was gonna go? Nope. So what's next? We got flashcards, hello? No, okay. No. I'm personally not ready. I don't feel like I'll ever be ready. And I don't feel like anyone will ever be ready. I feel like everybody waits or wants to wait until they're ready. And it's like, it doesn't exist. Like, you just have to find the right individual that'll be there enough for you, or y'all can be there enough for each other to support each other through the unknown. And that's pretty much all there is. Like, even in the sense of like me not drinking the whole time because I knew she couldn't drink. So we're like, okay, well, I'm just not gonna drink. You know, not that she wanted me to, but it was just my choice. It's like, nah, I'm gonna just support you in a sense, you know, for what you got going on. So, because it's, it affects both of us. You know what I mean? So, that was that was just my choice. Um, did I buy a bite? Did you? That's a mystery for another day. Nah, dude. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> I mean, you knew about my weak times. Yeah. Yeah, like especially early on. Like, yeah. ugh. Outside of that, no, I never had a drink, and you know that's just out of like respect for the journey that I know she had to go through because I can't fully relate, never will be able to, but. To certain degrees, I can choose to understand the 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 mental struggle that it is to have to 
cater yourself for another individual. She makes me feel a lot more prepared, you know, other than ready for what's to come, you know, and, and the way that we, the way that we go about, you know, the way that we move makes it a lot more, a lot more comfortable to step into the unknown and go from there. I'm definitely excited. Um, I'm glad that we were in a situation where, you know, we talked about it mm -hmm. and then, you know, went from there. Um, other than a lot of people, you know, who unfortunately, and then, you know, they get a gift out of it, yeah, mm -hmm. but, you know, they unfortunately fall into that situation, you know, and then have to figure it out. So it was nice that we got to be on the other side of that spectrum, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, yeah, plan it out, so. Yeah, somewhat plan for it. Before we even found out, like, literally a couple of minutes before I took the test, we decided to wait. Yeah. <laughs> That's real. That's real. That's real. And then yeah. we were just like, all right, well, yeah. let me just take the test just in case. And boom, I was pregnant. Yeah. That's real. That's real. Not to say we didn't, because we really did have those conversations. Mm -hmm. But then it was like, I think we were just in a process of talking ourselves out of it. Yeah. It's really what it was. And it was just like, eh. You maybe know. this is not the right time. Yeah, we ain't had a baby yet. We ain't had a baby yet. So yeah. why have a baby now? Like, yeah. <laughs> and I think we'll still be sitting there to this day, like, yeah, nah, we'll just, yeah. you know. But so. in all honesty, like you said, there's never gonna be a right time to have a child, regardless of how prepared you are, how much money you got saved in your bank account, or how big of a house you got. Like, you're never ever going to be ready. It's just gonna happen, and it is what it is. You gotta go from there. Yeah. Every every piece to you the puzzle that you had. You just make the decision after that. Like, yeah, they don't you know. matter. You know, you gotta cast that whole puzzle out and be like, all right, well, new pieces. Yeah. How is it being in a sense? You know, in a, in a you don't have to go too deep. I know you got you know your journals and stuff that you've kept. Mm -hmm. How has it been the transition from being person to sharing yourself to now being in the process of you know, being ready to be just a person again. Yes, a mother and all of that, but you know, you're getting ready to get your body back. I, I, I'm honestly, is I'm not gonna ever be the same. I'm not gonna be the person that I was before I got pregnant. There were so many changes, um, still a lot of changes. To go from having my own body to sharing my body to my body being taken over because that's what I feel. My body was taken over. I didn't have any control over my body after a certain point. I would make a decision, let's just, for example, yeah. I wanna eat this. My body is like, nope. Onions. You're not eating it. <laughs> we don't like it. <laughs> and once I got to the point where I couldn't make my own decisions, was, that was yeah. the turning point mm. for me. Like, this ain't my body no more. Mm. You know? My body tells me when to eat. My body tells me when to drink. And if I don't abide by it, like, I remember in my second trimester, like at the beginning of my second trimester, if I didn't eat every two hours, I would be sick That's when real. I did try to eat. That's real, yeah. It was like a punishment. Like, I'll be like, did you eat? Don't you deprive like, no. me. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't deprive me or this is what you get. And even even after, once we have her and stuff like that, like, she's still gonna... I'm her food source. <laughs> yeah. You know? I still probably won't have control over my body. Does it make you look at your body more of... Not to say that you didn't to whatever degree, but does it make you see yourself as more of a, like temple or prize or whatever. I was going to say that. My know. body is my temple now. Yeah. Like, and I don't really want nobody to touch my body for real. Yeah. Like, in that way. No, I feel you. So. And it sucks. Like, I don't know. I just feel a lot different about my body. Yeah. More um, connected to it. Yeah. Yeah. More like, I just want to, it's delicate. Yeah. You know. And even with what you, you know, you put in it, you know, and all of that going forward, I feel like there'll, there'll probably be a certain or a slight, you know. I think that's one good thing I can say about this pregnancy. Yeah. Because of the fact that I, I don't like the smell of onions and garlic and I don't like to really eat onions and garlic like that. Yeah. 
it stopped me from eating a lot of food. Yeah. Like, in a sense. So, food you would normally dress up and enjoy. Exactly. Yeah. And even fast foods. I've been eating more, I feel like, a little bit more cleaner, I guess. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say feel like you definitely have. Yeah. yeah. Um not too many seasonings. Um and really not too much stuff at all. You know, chicken, fish. And even that's in moderation. Like yeah. you don't eat as much like meat, honestly, as you used to. Yeah. Because at one point, honestly, you couldn't even really eat the meat. Yeah, so. I was just eating fruits and vegetables. Yeah. So. And like, you know, maybe like, you know, dishes that I make whatever where like you know, rice and vegetables mm-hmm. and stuff like that, but no real, like, you know, meat in there or whatever. So it was like, it, you, that's what I'm saying. You were definitely eating cleaner. Yeah. You know? so. I definitely made better food choices, um, you know, during this pregnancy, which I think is a good thing. I think it's a plus. Why don't you say this? Huh? No. I think it's a, I said, I think it's a good thing. <laughs> you said during this pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> She's like that other time. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So that's one. That's one I good I thing. I just made a move on you. I hate. Movie theater. Yeah, I think I felt like that too. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it though. Yeah. I, I hated it with a passion because I miss food. Yeah. Like I miss eating some good food. I miss drinking. Mm. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that's one plus, and I didn't gain that much weight. Yeah. I did not gain that much weight. You know, at first they told you gain more weight, gain yeah. more weight, gain more weight, and then they was like, whoa, 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 don't gain any more weight. Right. And it was like, like you're gaining weight too fast. What do you want from me? Yeah. And I was just like, well, I'm gonna just stop right here. Yeah. I'm just chill. <laughs> like I'm, I'm done listening. And to then that. now you're telling me you still want me to gain ten more pounds? Like, nah. And then at the end of it, they was like, well, the weight doesn't really matter. Exactly. <laughs> it <was> like, exactly. <laughs> it was like, like what, are you, what are you talking about? It's like, like, come on now. And that's and honestly, that's probably why I got hypertension. Like, I've never, ever been this big before. That's real. I've never hit over 200 pounds. Yeah. You hit you 199 know? before? I've never hit 199. You hit 198? Yep. For real? Mm-hmm. Never made it past there. <laughs> I brought out a, a party you didn't want to accept. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. I never yeah. thought I had to say it. No, I did. I did. I was gonna one... keep going down until I figured it out. I hit one ninety eight before. <laughs> yeah. And I think that was due to COVID. I think that was due to the like quarantine and stuff like that. I don't know. If that's true. Well, maybe, maybe yeah. Because yeah. I know that during the quarantine, no, before the quarantine, before the quarantine, you was uh, you was working out real yeah. heavy. Yeah. Yeah. And then once quarantine hit, I stopped working out. We went home in March last year last year that's when they sent us home yeah so it was still cold outside yeah but i wasn't i was literally getting up out of bed to walk downstairs yeah and sit my ass at the dining room table that's true you know um and i don't i don't even remember the the first time i even went to the park to go take a walk like it was a long it was a while before i went to the park to go take a walk yeah so transitions for everybody yeah yeah so we gotta get up early um, yeah because we gotta eat breakfast yeah and then get up there and then get I, hooked up to all of these machines yeah while i sit there and, and hook up my switch <laughs> <laughs> <You're> crazy <laughs> i'm gonna have all my controls i'm like which doctor on the floor want these problems uh, i got boomerang food i'm like what's that we still gotta pack our bag i know I thought about that. <laughs> Maybe I'll just bring like a pair of PJs or something like that. And then I'll bring an outfit to come home in. Yeah. Which ain't going to be an outfit. It's just going to be sweatpants and a t-shirt. Yeah. And then um, pack her clothes and yeah. a couple blankets. And that's really it. Like, and of yeah. course our toiletries. Yeah. I was like, should I say something about packing the bags or should we watch, should we watch Blacklist? I was like, yeah. Yeah, let's watch Black Blues. Like, yeah. let's relax. Like, plus we just got done cleaning up and stuff. It was just like, you know, yeah. let's just relax for real. I don't think packing is gonna be too bad. Like, I've I've yeah. seen videos of people packing their bags and stuff like that. And they're like, I brought this, 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 and I'm just like, but do you really use all of that? It's more of being over prepared. That way, the unexpected can't, you know. I just feel like this is how I feel. If I need something, Target is right across the street. That's real. 
<laughs> Worst case scenario, I'll just jump on the freeway and we ain't that far away from the hospital for real. So. Exactly. Like, That's, well, actually, it's a couple exits away. I was about to say it's like two exits. That ain't true. Nah, it's, it's a few. <laughs> it's like yeah, 10 cool. minutes away. Yeah, like 10. Like 10. Bad. 15 the longest, but it's like 10 minutes away. Yeah. It ain't that bad. I'm about to get some traffic jam. I'm going to be back in like three hours. But I'm going to the labor now. Most of the stuff that I'm going to need as far as like recovery items and stuff like that, they're going to give it to me at the hospital. They're not just going to be like, well, you're on your own. Yeah. We don't got nothing for you. They're they willing to give you anything. They're just going to charge you to your insurance. Yeah. They want that money. Yeah. That's why they're going to try to get us to stay there for a couple of days so they can get that money. I just want just 24 hours. I don't really want to stay in the hospital. Too long. Too long. Yeah. I, I, I don't I don't care to stay in the hospital too long. And I'm anxious to bring her home. Anxious for it to be done and over with. Yes. Anxious for her to just... I just, just realized that we could technically say her name in this. Pop out. Because yeah. this won't come out until... And people will know her name tomorrow. So. Yeah. I just kind of really... I think we just like used to not... Saying her name? Yeah. 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 Not that there's technically... I don't think we need to say her name though. I'm not saying we gotta say her whole name, but you can say her name. You okay. gonna say it? I mean, I don't have to. I, I feel like it's weird now. I, I feel like you don't want to say her name on anything. Her name is Aurora. You don't want to say her name on, on anything? We don't have to. We can. Oh, I just feel like you feel weird about it. No. I mean, you 100% look like you feel weird about it. I'm just so used to keeping it so... Secret. Secretive. Yeah, which I got nothing against. So it's like, you know... It's weird to bring weird out. Weird to finally sense. bring out, yeah. Oh. Uh, that's all. Okay. I, just I was didn't actually know. thinking how we going to spell her name. Are we going to spell it like the regular way? Or are we going to do like A apostrophe R-O-R-A? This nigga want to do the most, bro. That's why I was asking. That is so crazy to me that you even did. No, man. Why can't we just, just spell it, it the, the way, traditional way. Okay. The way you're thinking it in your head right now? A U R O R A. There you go. What part of you was like, maybe we should add some symbols. Like... What's like? What's that about? Like, technically, my name is D E apostrophe V A N T E. Yeah, I know. So technically, but I never spell my. I wish I would put that put that symbol in my name. Put the apostrophe like, in it. That is crazy. Yeah. I told grandma that today. I was like, I was like, we wanted her name to tell a story, uh -huh. and she was like, tell a story. <laughs> I was like, good luck, lady. <laughs> that could literally mean anything. <laughs> She's like, did y'all y'all pick a name or something like that, or or something about the name. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm like we actually like just like officially decided on it like yeah. last week or this week or whatever. So yeah, I was like we were just in between things. She tried. You. She really did. She tried you. I didn't even see that coming. That was <laughs> to me. I was just like, I, I don't know how this is about to play out. I have no idea how this is about to play out. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> So he told me the I name. Was caught, I was so caught off guard. That's why it took me a minute to like. And I like that you respond. like took a minute. Yeah, and, and that I was, was good. Just like that was a, that was a professional <laughs> thing to do to take a minute, think about the question, and then re and then respond. Hello. Okay. Why is it every time we sitting here recording, somebody starts shooting off something? That's the only problem with staying close to the country. People are so annoying. Staying close to the country is like staying they close to the hood. They do it in the city. I was about to say, they yeah. do it in the city too. It's like, we got away from the hood. We good now. Man. Now we in the country and they like, she's like, uh, he told me the name. How'd y'all come up with that? And you just got quiet and you was like, Which, what name did he tell you? <laughs> the one y'all came up with? Because <laughs> in my brain, I was just like, I was like, there's a chance he could have told her the name. Yeah. I'm like, but I don't think he would have told her today. <laughs> Tomorrow's going to be interesting. I think when they throw her on top of me. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird because I know she's inside of me and I know she's alive inside of me. Like, I know there's a human being inside of me. Yeah. But it's going to be weird seeing her. Yeah. You know, seeing her definitely. Feeling her too. You know, but having her in human form to a certain degree, yeah. yeah, and hearing her, that's when it's all gonna start. I think it's it's gonna be the most scariest thing ever because one, I'm gonna be expecting her to cry. <clears throat> and if I don't hear her cry, 
I'm gonna be thinking something is wrong. Mm. Gonna be like sure. Yeah. She's like, I'll, I'll hop up and get right back in the nurse mode. <laughs> I don't care if I just have a baby. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm gonna look at her fingers and toes. Yeah. Make sure she got ten. Yeah. And not twelve. I had twelve. We just tell them to cut it if she do got an extra one. Yeah. As they did with mine, they cut mine off. Sometimes I wish it was still there. So I could do this. <laughs> Why you move like it was there? That's crazy to me. That is so crazy to me. That, you... that was weird. Why was it weird? I, I, don't know. My... I just imagined. I just imagined a little finger. It has been right there. And they said it would have never grown either. Yeah, it just would have been just... a little stuff. Yeah. Why you keep tensing it's up? It's just weird. Stop tensing up. Relax, man. I think that's when full mommy mode comes on and full worry mode comes on because you just want to make sure. She... She's okay. Yeah. Then you gotta worry about like, is she sleep? Is she breathing when she sleep? Like, I don't know. Now y'all see what I gotta deal with. I don't know. Like, I just feel like I the baby did. No, baby sleep. I feel like Gosh, I'm gonna be waking baby up sleep. in the middle of the night just to just to hold a mirror up to her breath. All right, I see a little bit of a little bit of. Okay, yeah, she good. She good. I just try to. I'm like, hear, go to sleep, man. Try to hear her, feel her. Like, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be bad. That's why she got hypertension now. Yeah. Stressing over everything, running every bad possibility she can, then running with it until she could prove it otherwise. It's just gonna all be weird for me, just even pushing her out. Like, I can't even imagine myself pushing a, a baby out. You know, you gonna be like this. It's so crazy to me that you go through all of this crap during pregnancy and then you still gotta go through more pain to get the baby out. Well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow, Aurora. 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 How you say it? Aurora. How's it? Aurora. 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 So lazy. Aurora. Aurora. <laughs> that same thing. <laughs> well, this Aurora. There you go. Aurora. That's what I said before. Aurora. This Aurora. Yeah. The name's so weird, bro. I'm hoping, you know, I get in there at 10 o'clock. They probably ain't gonna get the IVs and stuff on me until like 11. Hoping I have her by dinner time. I would love to come home on Saturday. I am so tired, son. I'm seeing like rings and stuff, which is probably from that ring light. Yeah. It's just so bright. Like, how y'all deal with that, son? It's like people who gotta really like be up under that light all the time or every day when they make TikToks and crap, whatever. You know, mm -hmm. I guess movies was another thing I could have said. You know, I used to use movies. What? You know, I used to use ring lights and like super old movies. Mm. Like, it's some old movies you would watch them. Or like I'll watch them, whatever, and like you know how now you can just kind of see the light, the ring light in people's eyes. I be seeing that, mm -hmm. and like you know certain actors like faces, and I be like, man, this movie is like super old. And you tell me they were using ring lights back then, it just make me wonder what they use now, because I'm like yeah. whatever they use now is most likely what we gonna be using then. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or when they done with them or whatever. And we both tend to be very like clean. Yeah, to a to whatever. a certain to a certain degree. Yeah, yeah, it ain't like we like, you know, neat freaks. Yeah. That, you know, scared yeah. of every germ. I'm not a neat freak. I just like to make sure everything is good, clean, neat, and. Yeah. You're a neat freak. <laughs> <laughs> I had to really reflect on my life for a second. I was like, am I a neat freak? Yeah. I'm not a I'm not a super like germaphobe type. No, you're not freak. a germaphobe, <laughs> but you yeah. are definitely like a neat freak. That's, everything has to be clean. That's crazy though. all the time. Which I think is a, it's, it's a good balance because I'm a little lazy when it comes to the cleaning, but because he is who he is, it makes me want to do better. So, have I always been a neat freak since you know me? Yeah. I never knew this. Ain't nobody ever came to this house oh, and crazy. it's just been messy like that. So everyone went came and he said it looked like serial killers lived here. Well, that was clean. I know, but that's still crazy to me. Like, you see a clean place and so you you gonna say we serial killers? Like, it that don't even make really, sense. It was kind of really neat, neat though. Like, I mean, what's, super deep. what's it supposed to be? I don't know. It was like, like 
I don't think it really. When he came, did we have this stuff? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. It was just. It clean. didn't really look like lived in because we just moved in here. I mean, you know what I mean. What's lived in? Like this is lived in. It's just a little bit more stuff. It's still neat. Yeah. I'm not a serial killer. I think is my point. You know? <laughs> I don't think we're serial killers either. You but... don't think? <laughs> what do you do in your spare time? What? <laughs> what is going on here? It's like in the movies. Like they yeah. live such a wild life in a sense. Yeah, but they're that home they, they come minimal. home and it's very yes, yeah, very serene. Yeah. To like calm them organized because you know that everything else in your life is chaos yeah and that's kind of what it was when he first came because when he first came we had just moved here yeah you all right yeah she is she over it so we gotta we gotta wrap this up yeah <laughs> she runs our lives now yeah. this is the before and the after of the before because in order to be after there had to be a before well, and this right is the now, before. What are you talking about? And right now, we just present. What no, this is the after from the before. What are you talking about? The before is when you got pregnant to being pregnant, and then this is the after that. But this is before you having her, which means that this is still the after of the before, but the before before the after. But we still present. No, I don't understand. What do I do now? We about to go to sleep. We need to pack our bag. Oh, yeah. And then go to sleep. I can't even pack mine because the bag I gotta use in, in your car, I think. Well, I can still get yeah, my stuff together. Yeah, you supposed to then go outside and get it. And get it. I'm alright. Things live out there. Yeah. Truth be told, you could probably fit your stuff in there. Truth is, I never got over you. Wish I was standing in her shoes. When it's all said and done, this is still a month and two. Alright, you done? Bark, 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 bark. What's that from? <laughs> uh, you don't watch kid movies. <laughs> Fucking Toy Story. Mm. Toy Story uh, 2. One of them. Which one was it? When they was at the airport to help Jesse and Woody when they was about to be taken. Mm. And the little girl tried to come up to the crate that they was in to sneak into it. And uh, Slink was like, bark, 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 bark. So like... Mm. Make the girl back up. For some reason, she backed up. The little girl felt like dogs go bark, 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 bark. What she should have known was probably a predator. Okay. Yeah. Too far? I don't know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some final mommy words. We got four minutes. Come on. I'm tired and I. Why am... are you tired? Because I'm pregnant. I'm carrying around a child that yeah. takes my energy away. I was sleeping then. Sleeping sucks. I wake up every hour to go use the bathroom. And then sometimes when I come out of the bathroom, I can't go back to sleep. And then it's not comfortable because I have to either lay on my left side or my right side. Can't lay on my belly. I don't appreciate how you was just talking to her when you said that. <laughs> I don't really have any mommy words. I'm just ready. I'm ready for her to get here and ready to start this new journey. Don't sound like mommy words, but okay. Any words for me? Words for you? Yeah. No. Shouldn't have put me in this position. <laughs> well, you put yourself in that position. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I held the weight of this, is what I'm trying to say. That's real. That's so, real. Yeah. Conclusion to your journey? I'm never doing this again. And if I do, it's, it's by God's will. Kudos to you for honestly not having to drink this whole time. I do want to say that, you know? Yeah. Because there's even been times where I've told you, you know, if you want to have like a little sip of wine, because they say you can, you know, whatever. Yeah. If you ever wanted to, but you just you went all no. the way legit, you know. And that was that was that was crazy, you know. I changed my whole life. I can't wait to drink. Pop that bottle open. <laughs> <laughs>